Um, what am I trying to say? Take the page out, read it, kind of. Are you okay with your face being shown? Yeah, I'm okay. Great, great. Or do you want to just be a bush forever? Great, pull it in and read it. And then, and then, Kenneth. Okay. Kenneth, my virginity is a priceless thing to me! Isn't it kind of crazy that once you said these lines, you never got to say them again? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Ooh. Some stairs? Uh huh. So we are in the middle of filming. And, oh, sorry, I'll okay. put it down. No, we no, can no. Do it's just, I, the handle's too small for my fat fingers. Your fingers are, you have tiny hands. I know, but the handle was too small. Okay. Well, anyways, as I'm carrying stairs and filming, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> we're resetting a shot. This shot is Penny is distressed, sitting on the foot of the stairs while her father talks to an IRS agent about how he's been avoiding his taxes. Oof. And she sits on the bottom of the stairs. This is a risky game, but... Oh my gosh. Do you need help? No. I got it. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're back at the school and we are messing with lighting today. Uh, we do have an actor coming in, but we got kind of a master class from a professor who works in film and works with lighting. And um, Carlin's little brother Hudson is actually taking a class from him. And so we're having Hudson help out with all of our lighting. Say hi, Hudson. Hello. Um, so I just want to show you a bit of our setup we've got going on here today. We've got... Um, our big old tripod and camera here um, this is the school's camera so we are able to get a little more professional we have our monitor up here it's just a little bit bigger than the camera so we can see uh, the shot a little bit clearer and this is the scene uh, or the shot that we're shooting today so we've got our backlight over here and we've got a front light and another kind of front light. Carlin, that doesn't have a light bulb in it right now because, okay. But yeah, so this is the shots that we're setting up. Anything you want to say, Carlin? Yeah, I feel like the project has been really upgraded by our class yesterday. I think this is really going to put us on the next level. Yeah, I'm excited about this. I feel like we both learned a lot yesterday, and so it feels, I feel more prepared to make it a little better quality. So, we're excited. We can kind of light it like from that way. Is this our lighting? So, this is nice also because I think I already had this to use with me, but Hudson, now, she's not the only, like, today is not the only time that we're using this shot, uh -huh. but if we leave the spike tape, we can just reset it. Right. Wow. That's the table spray. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I don't know if this is interesting to any of you, but I think it might be. Um, the camera that we typically use is a Canon um, XS740, and this is just like kind of a handheld small camera, um, but this big one that we're going to be using is a Nikon D7000, uh, so it's a lot more sturdy. It's got a lot more settings to mess around with. Um, but yeah, if you are curious what we're using, that's what we're using um, through the school. And then the lights that we're using, this one, um, this like biggest kind of heavy duty one uh, is a GVM, which is great video maker. These smaller ones are Viltrux. 
Um, yeah, those are the lights and camera that we're using. So if you're trying to do something similar, um, maybe that's the equipment for you. Hi, you guys. Oh, the sun. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit, I can't. Okay. Okay, we're on our way to the school right now. Yeah, we're on our way to the school for another day of filming. Um, the past few week, the past few week has <laughs> changed the production a lot. Um, Tenfold. Like, absolutely. Um, we're at a red light, by the way. Um, <laughs> but we've been learning from a professor at Gonzaga who specializes in film, and mm -hmm. he's teaching a class at the high school that we work at, and so we've been sitting in on some classes and asking him some questions, picking his brain, um, and we've learned so much. Yeah, we have. So, Today we want to show you what it is exactly we've learned, what things have upgraded our production really quickly, mm -hmm. um, some things that maybe you want to implement if you're doing something similar. Absolutely. We knew going into this process that we knew nothing and that that would require a lot of learning from us, so it's really nice to like have a teacher to teach us because we didn't think we would have that. We think we thought we'd just have like we're gonna the, learn internet, it ourselves. the we're internet gonna and it like our own stuff that we had. Um, it's encouraged us to upgrade our own filming setup. Uh, I ordered some lights this morning, which are super exciting. Um, we're definitely gonna have to go back and redo uh, our first day of filming because it was on this little camera with one light um, and we knew nothing. And then all of a sudden now we know a little bit more than nothing. Yeah, which a little bit more than nothing makes a huge difference. <laughs> Light years, like it's unreal. We're excited to show you what that looks like at the school. See you there. We are at the school. There's some lunch happening over there, so don't mind the noise. But the first shot that we are going to be shooting today is from here. Um, it's going to be one of our characters, Paul, coming up and down some stairs right there. You can't really see, but they go down into there. We're getting ready to light that. Carlin just set up the camera mostly where she wants it to be. And we're going to start lighting and show you along the way. So the first thing we do whenever we're setting a new shot is the backlighting. What we've learned is that this helps create dimension in the shot. Um, if you light up the background behind your actor, it's gonna create more of a 3D shot that gives it just um, a little more dimension and quality to it. So what we're doing here is setting up a big light to shine on that black curtain because black eats up a lot of light. Yeah, um, and the, the having the curtain in a shot can soon quickly make a shot feel impossible. Yes, so I'll show you what's on our, our monitor here. Oh. Um, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of the black curtain in there. That's why we don't really care uh, that we're lighting up this picture kind of crazy. We're just trying to brighten up the space behind where the character is going to be walking. The next thing we're going to do is put a light back here. This is not in the audience's view in the movie. So we're going to light up down there to create shadow and uh, make it look like a real room where life is happening. Um, yeah. So we'll show you that when we get that set up. So this is our light for the cellar. Uh, hi, Sydney. Hi. Um, it's really bright right now, so Sydney's working on uh, making it a little less bright, feel a little bit more natural. Um, but we want it to feel like there's life coming from below. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. Um, in real life, you can see this kind of glare and the light is set up back here. However, on the camera, you can't see the glare quite as much and it really looks fine. So, that's the second backlight. The next thing we're gonna do is there's typically a lamp right here and anytime we shoot with this in frame, there's a lamp, but it's a shared lamp, we move it around. And so, what I'm gonna do is use that as inspiration for um, the next lighting choice which is to light up this area with one of these lights. Um, because it's a lamp, we'll keep it pretty yellow. It's just gonna light up this wall a little bit more, make it look like life is happening out here. Okay, we decided to put the lamp actually here because I think it's gonna make a big difference in the yellow light. So what we're working with now is the lamp and this light being over there isn't really giving enough light to the part that's actually in the shot. 
Um, so we've set up the lamp as like the key light, um, but this light right here is shining a little more directly onto the wall so that it has um, just a separate light than what's behind it so it can pop out and you can see the actual color of it. Okay, so this is where we're at. Uh, we have the actor in shot right now. Will you go back to that second step? Um, so that's what the lighting is looking like right now. Hi, Brayden. Hi. Um, so we did end up using this lamp and this light. And now what we're going to do, now that we have it kind of blacked out in here, um, now we're going to work on lighting his face. Um, because right now it's mostly just a lot of backlight and it's pretty dim. We have a lamp over here in the living room and that's again kind of where the intention of the light is coming from. And then we have this big light from the living room uh, just brightening up the whole shot. So it looks pretty similar on the little monitor here, but it is everything's just brighter. You can see him clearer because we want to see those wrinkles on his face. We want to see those wrinkles. My beautiful wrinkles. Hello. So we finished uh, shooting that shot over by the cellar. Um, now we're going to work on the shot over here at Penny's desk. Um, and so we've got a lamp on the desk. The first thing, again, that we're going to want to do is backlight the shot to give it dimension. So we'll show you how we do that. For this desk shot, we've got a big light with an umbrella back here, which just helps diffuse the light and lighten up the shot as a whole. So we've got that light lighting up this wall and the bookshelf a bit. And then we've got a separate backlight uh, specific to the bookshelf to light that because it'll be directly behind her in that chair. And then the next thing is to light the actors. Ta -da. You know, Trotsky, the Russian Revolution. Oh! Anyhow, it struck me as a great fireworks idea. You know, the last days of Pompeii. Okay, we are done filming for the day. It got a little crazy at the end. We had to fit the last few lines. We had 40 seconds left on the camera to fit all the rest of what we had to film today, but we did it. It was awesome, crazy right? Set. Yeah. Very awesome. Yeah, so we ended up doing three different shots today and it went really well. I think we're getting a little more comfortable with it, so things are going a little more quickly. Sydney's been really awesome about keeping track of um, how we go in between shots and what each shot needs lighting wise. Um, and for the most part, we've just been doing new shot after new shot after new shot. Uh, but today we finally got to use all this organizing Sydney's been doing and do an old shot. I think that we're gonna call this the end of vlog two. We will be continuing to vlog, but you'll see that maybe a little bit later. If you wanna stay updated, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll be posting there. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye. So, there you go.